A uh, helicopter just crashed into the ocean. It just sunk. It looks like there's like maybe three or four people floating in the water. A dramatic water rescue after a helicopter crashed off the coast of Florida. We got one passenger on board, all 51 to the boat ramp on the uh, 7 channel side. The other occupants are on the jet skis. Tampa police pulling the pilot to safety. The other three people on board saved by a good Samaritan. I'm going to take them right to the beach. I'm on two Yamaha jet skis. That helpful stranger, none other than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers backup quarterback, Blaine Gabbert. It was pretty remarkable. We got him. I got two on my jet ski. My brother's got one. The pilot was still in the water. Gabbert says he was jet skiing with his brothers when he heard a noise and went to check it out. What he found was a downed helicopter submerged near the Davis Islands with four people thrown overboard. It almost looked like a crew boat in the water that had broken up into about four pieces. And I vaguely remember seeing like two yellow life jackets. The youngest kid had just came up and said he was pinned in there. That passenger was 28-year-old Hunter Hupp. We were trapped under so much stuff and uh, I had so many cables and wires and headsets and seatbelts all around me. He was underwater for nearly a minute, Hupp says, and wasn't sure he'd survive. You know, I'm pretty astounded that I am standing here to talk to you. Hupp and his parents were on a sightseeing tour of Tampa Bay Thursday when authorities say their chopper's engine failed. We heard a large, a loud pop um, from the top. Um, I was in the front. I asked the pilot if we just hit something. He goes, no, but this isn't really good. The pilot made an emergency landing, crashing about 200 yards from shore as onlookers watched in disbelief. It was crazy. It was insane, but um, I'm just happy they got out. Thanks in part to Gabbard and his brothers jumping into action. Gabbard, who chose to remain anonymous at first, coming forward now. I was just trying to do the right thing, help him out. Clearly they were in, in need and you know, I'm happy they all made it out alive. The big rescue behind him, Gabbert, is back at work, preparing for Sunday's big game, as he's being hailed a hero both on and off the field. And Savannah, more good news. All four of those passengers escaped uninjured. And as for Gabbert, the Tampa Bay police has named him an honorary member of their Marine Patrol. One more achievement on an already pretty impressive resume. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.